Yeah, I do. What's your name? Being pregnant was unlike anything I had ever experienced. First off, I had no idea how introspective this time could be. It reminded me a lot of puberty. Everything's just so new, uncertain, raw, and visceral. There's so much change and growth that hits you physically and mentally. There were moments where it all felt so unbelievably overwhelming, and the times I struggled most were when I felt lonely which I found a bit ironic considering I was growing a life inside of me. As I was documenting these moments, I initially planned to edit this into one comprehensive pregnancy video informing you of all my physical symptoms, but as I was editing, I found these random musings and unfiltered confessions way more interesting. So I hope that this video can help anyone else who is pregnant and going through the complex range of emotions and thoughts that come while growing another human inside of you. So with that said, let's take it back to the first trimester. In a nutshell, the first trimester was me just wrapping my head around being pregnant. It really is a life-changing event. It's been officially 24 hours since I've discovered that I am pregnant. My common themes are shock and terror. I really wish it weren't the case, but I can't force myself to feel a certain way. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this definitive moment where it's just gonna radically change my life. It's always taken me a while to process big transitions in my life. So it made sense that my mind kept flickering from pessimism to optimism. I am seven weeks pregnant now and I actually feel a lot better. It's crazy, I can't believe I just found out last week. My state of mind has calmed down. The second I told my mom, it felt like all this pressure drained out of me like i felt supported and i felt loved that was really comforting and i think after talking to my mom like just the doubt vanished i am nine weeks pregnant today my doubts just scream at me especially in the morning and the evenings and i'm worried that postpartum is gonna rock me when i look at my body it's it's hard for me to accept. It's hard for me to just realize that it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. And then I feel so vain for saying that. But as someone who's always struggled with body image, I almost feel like this is like the ultimate test. Like, you think you're happy with your body? All right, here's pregnancy. It really is the ultimate test to surrender to everything that might happen to your life and your body. My mental health was really suffering from these worries, so Ben and I did a few sessions of therapy together. I found it incredibly helpful to quiet the doubts and it unified us as the trunk of our family. It also really helped when I spoke with my girlfriends about it too. Oh! I'm pregnant. Oh my god! No. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I was really excited for you. <laughs> Are you pregnant? I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, no. China. I know. Are you kidding me? Why did that just hit me like <laughs> Hello. Today is the last day. I will be 11 weeks, so I thought that I should do a little update. I've been feeling really good the past two weeks. I don't have any nausea or morning sickness anymore. I've been taking my prenatals, drinking three of these every day, peeing like a racehorse. Yeah, those are my symptoms. With time, I got more and more comfortable with the idea of becoming a mother. And these ultrasounds made me feel much more connected to me and our baby. I just got back from my 12 week ultrasound. Here are the photos. I actually didn't expect to get so emotional, but it was crazy guys. Like to see baby like moving around and jumping and doing little flips. I guess it just makes it more real because before it was just, it all just seems like a theory, an idea. But this is like, I'm gonna meet this baby one day. I'm gonna meet this person one day. <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, he or she is beautiful I already. Know, I... The first three months ended in a really positive way and I shimmied on into the second trimester. I think the second trimester was my favorite. 
you have more of your energy back, you're starting to show a bit more, and you feel more like yourself again. Today, I am 14 weeks pregnant. I believe this is like me entering into the second trimester officially, which is insane. The tenderness of my boobs are gone. They feel tip top again. I think I've just gotten used to the frequency of urination. I wake up maybe two or three times a night to go pee. All in all, I feel really great, but I can't wait to actually tell you guys this news because I feel like, not that I'm hiding, but you know, I just feel like I can't really express my style the, the way I normally do because I have to wear like loose clothing all the time. Hi guys, so today I am 15 weeks pregnant and the baby is the size of this pear. I wish I had some updates to tell you guys. I've got my constipation on lock because I'm taking the magnesium gummies. So I just got out of my 16 week appointment and I met my OB for the very first time. And um, the first impression I got was, eh, I just felt extremely rushed. I just got bad vibes from the doctor. And now I'm just thinking like, do I change my OB? It also just sucks that Ben can't come to any of the appointments with me. It, it is a very like exciting time, but it's also really scary. I'm trying this exercise where no matter what happens, I wanna try and find something positive out of the experience. I'm glad that I have healthcare. I'm glad I have options. And I'm glad that the baby's healthy. So if I'm just like upset about about the vibes, then then I should probably reevaluate how comfortable I've gotten with my life. <laughs> I actually feel quite better. So today I am 20 weeks pregnant. I am at the halfway mark of my pregnancy. I actually felt my baby kick a week ago. I want to say 19 weeks is when I started to feel like this sensation near my pubic bone. It just feels like gurgling, kind of like gas, like before you really, really have to go, your stomach's like, Ugh. like that's what it felt like. So yeah, I thought I had to shit myself, but it turns out it's just the baby kind of fluttering. But of course, each trimester comes with its period of reflections. I'm probably just in my head, but I feel like when you're pregnant, like people kind of treat you differently. <laughs> like you can't really hang. So people feel weird asking about the baby, especially because there's so many people in my life that don't have children. It's probably just psychological, but it just feels like this growing gap between just lifestyles. Because now when I listen to stories about, you know, people being excited to travel and go out and go to music festivals, like stuff that I used to be stoked about, it doesn't really apply to me anymore. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a mom. And the first year of my life is gonna be about the baby, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be grueling, but also rewarding to be a mom. It's, it's so bizarre, like, I feel really lonely, but there's no one I wanna see. So, I'm just waiting for this to pass. <laughs> just like all emotions, this wave passed, and I felt better. Today I am 22 weeks pregnant. My gums are definitely more sensitive. Like I have to be extremely careful going through each tooth. There's more blood flow that's happening everywhere. So just the slightest gash can just burst blood. The baby's movement is still like really soft and cute. It just feels like little bubbles, maybe just like little taps. My belly button is just getting smaller and smaller because it's getting so stretched out. But yeah, um, this is my belly now and I'm starting to form the Linea Nigra, which is the pregnancy line. It's like that dark line that happens at the bottom of the belly button and then apparently it goes all the way up. Hello, so today I am 24 weeks pregnant, but last week was pretty much the same as 22. Yesterday though, I had a weird sensation in my uterus, I guess. It felt like the baby was kind of twisting. It felt like a, like kind of like a dolphin in there. Nipples are getting darker and areolas are slightly getting larger. Uh, I've read that it's because that way the baby can really see where the nipple is. I mean, I'm sure the baby's not gonna have any trouble finding my nipple at this point, like. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, so it's May 17th, 2021. I finally went to my doctor's appointment 
the doctor told me that in the 20 week anatomy scan, they found choroid plexus cysts in our baby's brain. When you hear the words cyst and brain, it's very alarming. It's like everything that came out of his mouth afterwards, just I wasn't processing. Like I really, really wish that Ben could have been in there with me. So now I just have to wait for the hospital to call me so that they can schedule me for an appointment with the high-risk OB. We met with the high-risk OB this afternoon and she had a look at the scans and since my genetic testing came out negative and there was like nothing to mark on it, she says that there was just really no reason for the previous OB to point out the fact that there were these cysts. She explained that they're extremely common and if they were in tandem with the, the trisomy 18 variant, then I should be worried. And she had a look at the baby's brain and there was nothing in it anymore. So, I don't know. I just feel this like huge, I just feel this huge wave of relief. Just before my third trimester started, I had this period of grieving for this version of myself. I am 27 weeks pregnant. If I'm gonna be honest, I am feeling a little bit of anxiety because on Friday, that's when I will enter my third and final trimester. I feel like this chapter in my life is just incredibly bittersweet because I feel really comfortable right now. And I just know that my life is just going to change completely. I think there's, I think this is just a bit of a, a grieving period for this chapter of my life. I'm just coming to terms that this version of myself is going to come to an end uh, once the baby gets here and then a new version will be created. And like, obviously I'm so excited to meet our baby, but I'm also really scared too because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin them, if that makes sense. Because when babies come, they're just, you know, they're so pure and they don't have any trauma yet. I'm afraid of what I might pass down to them. So I'm just really working on trying to be as emotionally stable as possible and be a good mom. I didn't expect to be like sobbing right now, but Oh, I guess I could just actually use this towel. <laughs> oh my God, okay. We're okay. I have to remember that I'm gonna try my best and that's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna be so much stronger after this, wiser, more graceful, and I've got Ben, I've got my family, I have the support that I need, and I'm just gonna take it day by day. I don't have control over what's gonna happen over the future, but I can focus on being present and focusing on what I'm doing right now. And right now, I am 27 weeks pregnant and I am folding laundry and I'm updating you guys. These tough moments are gonna pass and even now, I feel like I just went over this wave of feeling overwhelmed and anxious and I just accepted it and now I feel completely fine. It's just strange how emotions work. The third trimester is definitely the one where you buckle up. Each week, you're growing exponentially. You're going to the hospital more often, and there are so many symptoms that pop up. And by the end of it, you're just tired and ready to meet your baby. Oh my God, our second appointment together. We did it. Some normalcy. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Wow. Are you gonna see the baby? Yeah, I'm gonna see the baby. I just did my blood glucose test to see if I have gestational diabetes. I drank this like orange Gatorade-like drink and now I have to wait an hour to see how my, I guess like my blood levels and my sugar levels spike. This test does take a full hour. I'm gonna take my shoes off, make myself comfortable. There's a parking section in the hospital that just says, four new mothers and mothers to be. And now that I'm prego, I can actually park here. So it actually, I, I feel really special. I'm about to check to see if I passed my gestational diabetes test. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think it's because it's considered a test and I'm scared that I will fail. It's triggering a lot of old 
academic worries in my mind. Results are in. Ah, yay, I passed. I thought I would do an update because now I am 32 weeks pregnant. Physically, I feel pretty good still. I do feel the baby move around so much more. Now it really does feel like there is a baby inside of me because it feels like he's like stretching and it's not painful, but it doesn't really feel that good. It's just uncomfortable. We also got a doula, but yeah, a doula is someone that helps you prepare for birth and also like calms you down during labor and just is a huge support figure during that like intense time. Spirits are feeling good at week 32. Today, I got my Tdap vaccine to prevent whooping cough. It did not hurt at all. It was over in less than a second. Today, I am 33 weeks pregnant. I went into my doctor's for an appointment today and I think from now on I don't get to see the baby anymore, like no more ultrasounds, which is kind of a bummer. I've been really enjoying like collecting the little photos that I get after. This is my belly at the moment. Wow, it doesn't even look real. I look at the viewfinder, I'm just like, how is that my body? But yeah, that is my body. So today I am 34 weeks pregnant. The baby is the size of a friggin' pineapple. Thought we'd treat ourselves to a little shop. We got into one store, and then Jen, the pain's been quite bad, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah, so this is like a new symptom. I don't think they're contractions, but it basically feels like the moment where you where you feel like you're gonna have a bunch of diarrhea all over. Do you know what I mean? When you have like the shit, like when you start getting like a cold sweat and very, very crampy. Luckily, it's coming in waves, and right now, I don't feel anything, which is good. When it's here, it's so intense. It's kind of felt like we're like, hang on a minute, do we need to start? Yeah, I'm like, wait, am I oh, going yeah. to labor? Yeah, it's but... like every five to six minutes I get pain. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> She's a brave girl. Is it brave? Yeah. You're brave because you haven't pooed yourself. <laughs> you should be proud of that. Would you still love me if I pooped myself in the car? A little bit. Probably take a couple of years. No one told me I was getting my GBS test today. Hello, so I thought I would do a 36 week update. So I just got back from my doctors and they surprised me with the GBS test. I had no idea it was just gonna happen today. So they basically get like a cotton swab and then they swipe your vagina and then they also put it in your butt and then they swipe it in there. I found it kind of painful. I mean, it didn't hurt, but I think it's because I wasn't really gelling with my OB today. They pretty much give me a different OB each time I see someone. But yeah, me and this lady, we just were not vibing. And then her just sticking that up my butthole was just, you know, just not what I wanted to do today. <laughs> I see if I'm GBS positive in three to five days. And then she also checked to see if uh, the baby is in position. And he is like a good boy. His head is down. And I'm so, so thankful because if he was breached, then, then it would just be another issue of just like trying to spin him around. Getting Braxton Hicks at night, it basically feels like my, stu my, my stomach is just like cramping or like tensing. It gets really hard and then it releases. I get lightning crotch sometimes, which is basically when he moves and then it like shoots this like electric shot down my vagina. And luckily it only lasts a couple seconds, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, somehow I've gotten a little bit used to that too. When it happens, like I'm like, ugh, but then I just carry on with my day. So I am 37 weeks pregnant. I'm at the phase where now I'm officially waddling. There's no way to describe the baby's movement other than the fact that it just feels like there's a freaking baby in there. Just, I end up not minding the movements when I like change my perspective on it. Cause I think before I would kind of wince and be like, oh, that kind of hurts, but it's not painful. It's just uncomfortable, you know? So reframing that in my mind has been really helpful and I'm trying to see it as cute and now I actually do think it's pretty cute when he moves around. It's like, oh, he's squirming. Oh, okay, another weird symptom is I feel like my armpit looks darker. I don't know if you guys can see. This fold on my armpit, like you know how there's like lines on your armpit? I feel like those lines 
are a little bit darker now. They're not as like smooth. Don't wanna see anyone super antisocial right now. I have been getting a little bit more anxious about like the labor experience. Like I'm aware that it will be happening within the next few weeks. So I have been reading a bunch of positive birth experiences. I downloaded this book called like Ina Mae Gaskins. Is that her name? Ina Mae. In that book, there are just tons of positive birth experiences. So reading each one is giving me some strength and courage knowing that so many women have done this. Like if you exist, that means someone had to push you out. And, uh, and yeah, so it's making me less afraid about it. I'm 38 and three days pregnant and now I constantly have to wear a belly band or else it feels like there's gonna be a bowling ball coming out of my vagina. <laughs> no, it really just feels like my hips are about to break open. And the crazy thing is my doctor just told me to keep on walking. She advised no rest. I found that advice very cruel. I guess I'm supposed to keep on walking and living like this. This is the most comfortable way to go about life right now. But yeah, I'm moving at a snail's pace. That's it. I thought I had more to say. I'm 39 weeks and one day pregnant and I just lost my mucus plug. I'm just freaking scared, man. Right now I feel like I, I'm about to do like a test that I'm not ready for. Like I felt, I feel like this birth I've been preparing like uh, like an exam or something. I'm just like reading a ton of different books because when I get anxious or nervous about something, I just want to learn more about it because it gives me that illusion that I'm like preparing for it. Last night I was feeling really, really crampy too. Also, he keeps on moving around. Like he's doing like a kickboxing class in my uterus. I'm just very uncomfortable. I feel like very, very crampy today. I also think I'm not in a great mood because I didn't have a good sleep last night. I've banned myself off of Instagram because right now my algorithm is only showing me baby content and pregnancy content. And I see a group of people like already having their babies and stuff. Like, I know it's not like a competition at all, but I'm just kind of like, holy shit, like, am I gonna, is this baby gonna go over? I don't know, I'm just kind of tripping out. I am excited to not be pregnant anymore though. There's a lot of pros with the end of pregnancy. I'm gonna meet my son, which, you know, life-changing, like actually life-changing. And uh, I'll be able to sleep on my back again. That will be so nice. I wonder, I wonder how long I will be pregnant for. Like, will I be one of those people who are like 42 weeks pregnant? <laughs> Ow, <laughs> he's kicking. It was very reassuring to know that the baby will come out when he's ready. And clearly he's not ready, is he? It's okay, you could take your time.